Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Pocket Mirror. In the last episode, we received this lovely cardigan from, uh, Miss Harpay. And then she's just like, I need to go get something. And then after she left, there was a crash. And why is it taking a while to, like, why is the frame rate dropping? I, I don't understand what's going on. But, yeah, friggin'. And then I got lost, because, like, I basically have no idea what to do right now. Seriously, like, what's with the frame rate? Is there anything else up here we may have missed? It's like a diary entry. Alright. It's that thing. Wait, is that a door? No. I wonder, like, <coughs> if, uh, she's able to, like, nope, better not get too close. I was hoping, like, I wonder after that initial freakout, she's ready to, like, face the fact that this may be her family's house. I'm not sure. Uh, hello? Why did the game stop? I don't understand. Was it loading something? Was it loading a spook? Is someone there? Yes? Please, I need your help. I've been hearing these strange voices outside. I have to go check on my father. I need you to get the key to this room for me. Alright. Where is it? Solve the riddle and you'll find it. Listen, listen closely because I won't be repeating myself. Fuck. Okay, hold on. Let me get notepad out. Okay. Lurking in the shadows, lost his dismay, golden radiance lies unscathed, away in the light of day. Alright. At dawn shall beasts awake, guided by the northern guided by the northern star you must advance. Alright. Drawn by cheerful chirping, hope always follows, and such a, in search of such guidance, gu guidance turn to the hurtful gallows. Alright. Announced by bells is your demise, should you not pay and pray for eastern sunrise. The door opens as he draws near, silence is your ally, clouded with fear. Why does everybody got to speak in riddles, anyway? Wait, I don't understand! You have to hurry, now go! <laughs> Uh-oh. Ah! What? <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, I learned that real quick. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm guessing, uh, friggin... We have to, like, pay very close attention to sounds. And, uh... Ooh. Ah! We went forward, so, uh... Hmm. Yeah. Just, just kind of trying to play this safe. There's something under the rug. Is this it? Nice. I got 
your key. Great, now open the door. Whoa. Is that a Yost of the past? Either way, we're gonna, like, go save. that is what the smart people do. They save their video games before something happens, or after something happens. Now that this door is open, let's take a peek inside. Probably. Probably gonna regret it. Probably not. Who knows. There are candles. Lots of can- oh my god. What troubles you? What? Oh, that's gonna trigger my tinnitus! Oh my god! Uh. Okay. Give me a minute then. I mean, that room wouldn't exist just to give us a game over. Yeah. Oops. Oops. Okay, I guess I'm leaving then. Did I even get anything out of that? Oh! An old wax record! There was a picture there, too. Oh god. What is this? Well, time to go. I hear knocking, and I don't think I like it. Okay. Let's go listen to this old wax record. I don't even get how wax records work. Oh well. Wax record two of five. <laughs> oh, Elise! 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 You really did things you did- uh oh. Worry not, my dear Elise. Right, your faithful pig. Oh my god, this thing goes fast. <laughs> this voice. Is. is your name Elise? Oh, the other hallway's lit now! Joyful! That's not ominous! Pumpkin charm. Okay, we can take a turn up here. Are you sure this will be alright? Of course, my love. You are safe here. There's no need for you to worry. What about your family? That's all a different matter. It has nothing to do- Oh no, the father was having an affair! What about your daughter? What about her? Won't she suffer from this? I will be sure to take care of that issue soon. Now hush, my dear. Let us not worry about the future. Such an unpleasant conversation. The father of this family was having an affair! There are people in there. Barge in on them. Call them out on the bullshit. Underlying Desire, 1982. The painting of a boy attempting to escape a horned demon. Memoirs of a young lady. 47. The young, elegant woman poses peacefully with a serene expression on her face. Is there anything under the rug by any chance? Nope. So there's just nothing for me to do here. Okay. Never mind! I'm 
gotta go save. Especially after that hot mess. Oh god damn it! Was that a pun? Because that was a chandelier. Fuck. Wait, there's a hallway leading down here. Hello. How dare you disobey me? Oh. I'm sorry, father. Oh. This is the last time you will ever disobey me. Now get in your room and do not dare come out until I tell you to. Do you understand? Yes, father. Oh, God. Oh, girl. What's this? Broken wine bottle. Can you take it? No. Here no. There's her pay, but at the very least, we should like go see what was in that room up there. So at the very least, we know she's all right, unless she turns around and she has a spooky, scary face. Nope, people in there. Yeah, I don't know who this is about anymore. Is this about that Elise girl? Is it about her protagonist? Is it about, is it about her pay? I just, I just don't know. I. Where have you been? Harpe, I. I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. I just heard a strange noise while you were gone. A strange noise? Yes. You didn't hear it? No, I haven't heard it. More importantly, are you alright, miss? Did you get hurt somewhere? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I'm alright. That's a relief. However, you shouldn't go around by yourself, do you understand? I... No buts, miss. This mansion is, can be a very dangerous place, as it is very old. You could get hurt if you wander around carelessly. I'm sorry, Harpe. <laughs> it's alright, miss. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. I'm sorry, Harpe. I was just worried about you. Worried about me? Because that sound was so loud, and since you're... I'm... Well, no, it's nothing. I just thought you could have gotten hurt. <laughs> There's no need to worry about me, miss. But thank you. Come now, let us get inside at once. I'm sure you're feeling tired. <laughs> yes, let's. Give me your hands, just so you don't get lost. Alright. Aww. Harpe, I can't... Harpe? Yes? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. There are no lights in this corridor, and it's gotten pretty dark. This is the part where we get killed, probably. I know the way, so there's nothing to worry about. I see. Alright. We're here, miss. Oh my, this room is lovely. Are you feeling alright, miss? My head hurts. You must be tired. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It'll pass. Don't worry, Harpe. Please, tell me if it doesn't. I can make you some tea. Thank you, Harpe. Come, let's sit. <laughs> it's best if we talk while sitting down. Where were you all this time, miss? Oh, I... No, let's tell the truth. I... went to the floor above the one we were in. The noise seemed to come from above, so... You shouldn't have gone there, miss. I... No, it's alright. I'm not upset. I was just worried about you. You don't need to say, and you don't need to make such an expression, miss. 
I'm sorry, Harpe. No, I'm sorry for taking so long to come back. Anyway, where are we? Oh, this is a simple reception room. Ah, I see. I'm so glad you're safe, my girl. Even so, you do look a bit bewildered. I... I'd just like to ask you something, Harpe. Please, go ahead. Are you the only person in this house? What do you mean? Oh, I, uh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you, but I've heard some voices downstairs. Voices? Yes. I'm sorry, miss, but there, any, there isn't anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. Are, are you sure? Yes. It must have been your imagination, I'm sure. I see. You must be right. <laughs> you must be very tired, my girl. Perhaps you should take a rest. I have a few guest rooms at the upper floors at- Oh no. What? What's the matter? There's a button missing on your card again. Oh, I'm so sorry! I hadn't noticed it was missing! I'm so sorry, my girl. I mustn't have sued it properly. No, I'm sorry, I was the one who lost it. I'm going to get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? Uh, well, if she's not feeling well, I'll stay here. I'm still a bit tired. Can I stay here and rest a, bit, and rest a little longer? <laughs> that is alright, I don't mind. I won't take too long. <laughs> so please, be sure to take a good rest. <laughs> Yes, thank you, Harpe. In reality, somebody on Tumblr warned me of this. Apparently, if you just go with her, you d d death. This Gilbert porcelain vase delicately holds fresh, colorful flowers. A pale doll sits on display with a serene expression. This doll looks familiar somehow. Hmm. There's a book here. Can we read it? Read book. There's an open book here. Chapter... I'm not good at friggin' Roman numerals. I don't know what L stands for. Behavior at the table. When the announcement is made that the meal is ready, one must be prompt to attend the summons and so that no inconvenience may be occasioned by delay filled with lists of rules. This is... Oh dear. You gonna be okay? What's the meaning of this? So, uh... Is there anything else we're supposed to do here? Wait, what the... No, oh, okay, it was just weird. What is this? Hello? His big golden mirror. Hey, we can actually see ourselves in this one. You finally come to me. Uh oh. <laughs> Dark protagonist. You can't have a game without one. I've been waiting for you, Angel. Like, Angel is in like Angel in German? What? What do you mean? I wasn't expecting you to forget about me this quickly. My na is my name Angel? Yes, it is. Then, who are you? I am you, Angel. Sherbina of Shed Wings. It's a shame you can't remember me. So, her name is Angel. You see, we have a special connection. Like petals from the same flower, or so I would say. You are me, Angel. And I am you. It was my role to find you, and now that I did, it's your role to complete me. 
We don't have much time, but please, listen to me. What are you talking about? It's time for SBU to be reunited, Angel. They've always tried to tear us apart, but now I've finally found you. Wait. Miss, where are you? You have to come to me. I'm waiting for you on the other side of the mirror. Wait! You are not alone, Angel. I will always stay with you from now on. Every time you need me, just knock three times on a mirror and I'll come to you. Wait, Angel! Please, you have to trust me. And please, promise me you'll be careful. He's still out there looking for you. <laughs> Wait, who are you talking about? I'll be waiting for you. Angel. Wouldn't it be Ingel? It's usually spelled with a G. What the? The dick? There's a painting. What? <laughs> Where have you been? Our pay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just... I got into this room and... <laughs> Haven't I told you not to wander off by yourself? You could have gotten hurt! I... Arpe? There's no helping it, is there? I'm sorry I yelled at you, miss. Arpe? Is everything alright? Is there always a big painting in this room? A painting? No, there isn't. What's the matter, miss? You don't seem too well. I... Yes, what is it? Arpe? Is my name Angel? I'm sorry. What did you say? I... I just... <laughs> you just what? What did you do? Who told you that? Harpe, I just... I don't want to hear any more excuses from you. Listen, my girl. Lies won't make you... Lies won't take you anywhere in this place. Enough is enough, and it's time for you to face the consequences of your own acts. Playing house will not make everything better. Literally, what the fuck is going on? What is your reasoning behind this, Harpe? Hiding won't make you invisible, miss. What are you talking about? I'm sorry. I got a bit carried away. I apologize. Our pay. I don't know what to do anymore. I don't know where I am or what I'm doing. Fleeta's gone, and now I met that strange girl, and I... Who did you meet? She said my name was Angel and that she was me. <coughs> Your name is not Angel, miss. Oh. It's not? No, it is not. But she... That is enough. You mustn't meet this girl ever again. You mustn't trust her no matter what she says. But why? Listen, miss. I need you to listen carefully. As I told you before, I can't tell you your name. And I can't tell you who you are or what you should do from now on. However, I can protect you from whoever is trying to hurt you. Was Fleeta trying to hurt me? I don't know, miss. All I know is that you mustn't trust anyone but yourself. Do you understand? Not even you? No. I don't understand this situation at all. I see. Shall I leave you on your own, then? Huh? What? I am asking you if you're going to walk away from this situation you don't understand. 
Why are you here, miss? What have you come here to do? I... I don't know. I don't know. What does that tell us, then? Didn't you want to know who you are, what your name is, and what you're supposed to do? Are you just going to give all of that up? For pay. I refuse to protect someone who has no will to thrive, miss. That is no longer my role. I... I'm sorry, Harpei. I don't need your apologies. <laughs> no! I mean it. I... I understand what you're saying, Harpei. I do want to know who I am and what I'm doing here. Please forgive me. I ended up pressuring you when it wasn't not, when it wasn't my intention. No, you're right, Harpei. <laughs> I can't simply give up. I'm glad you understand this. I need you to trust me, and I need you to stay true to yourself. That is the only way you will ever find the answers to your questions. That is what I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I went overboard. No, it's alright. I don't think you were trying to hurt me, Harpei. Oh, thank you, miss. Thank you for trusting me. Harpei? <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's nothing. I'm just feeling a bit overjoyed, that's all. But anyway, I got the button we needed to fix your coat. <laughs> thank you, Harpei. You're welcome, my girl. Aww. <laughs> it's done. Thank you, Harpei. You're welcome, miss. Well then, shall we go? Go where? <laughs> I need to take you to a safe place. We can't stay here forever now, can we? <laughs> oh, I see. Let us hurry. <laughs> Seriously, was this painting always here? something the matter? Oh, I... I'm sorry, I was just... Come now, my girl. You mustn't dawdle. I'm sorry. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. I want to see what's in that door. I want to see what's in that door. But I trump. But I promised I would trust her. Pay. Oh, that's ominous. Hey, do you have a place where I can, like, save maps? Having a place where I could save would be... Harpe? <laughs> I apologize, my girl. Mer, it seems I have gotten a bit ahead of you. <laughs> oh no, that's alright. I was just wondering where you'd gone to. <laughs> I see. It wasn't my intention to worry you. Arpe, where are we? Tell me, miss. What is it? Do you remember this dresser? No. I see. Here, take a seat. Whoa! Arpe? Yes? Is this dresser something I should recognize? No, not necessarily. I asked you out of curiosity, nothing else. But, but if you ask me that, then... Miss? <laughs> uh, yes? Is it, and, and it is fine if you don't want me to, but may I brush your hair? My hair? Yes, it's, 
It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. Yes. <laughs> yes, of course you can. Yes, this is- br hair brushing is a very good bonding experience. Thank you, my girl. I am deeply grateful. Well then, could you please pass, pass me the hairbrush? Ah, yes. That's something we need, isn't it? This comb is so fancy, Harpe. Is it really yours? <laughs> yes, it is. It was once given to me as a present from my family. I see. This might sound funny to you, but I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Perhaps your memories may be coming back. Harpe? Yes, what is it, my girl? Can you please tell me a little bit more about myself? I can tell you what I know. Unfortunately, it isn't much, but I hope it'll satisfy you. Anything will do. I mean... Sorry. <laughs> please, don't apologize. I understand your need to know, my girl. But could you please hand me the comb first? Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, Harpe. Don't worry, miss. Now please, sit up straight and place your hands on your lap. Oh, yes. Just like that. We don't want your beautiful long hair to get tangled now, do we? Thank you, Harpe, for combing my hair. There's no need to thank me, my girl. I was the one who asked you if I could in the first place anyway. a lot of mirrors. You are and you are a very sweet individual, miss. Although you may have a few difficulties regarding some circumstances. What do you mean? You need to have more faith in yourself. You have come this far thanks to your own effort, so it's time to start believing in your capabilities. I guess you're right. You may not think of yourself as such, but you are a very diligent person. No one but you knows what hurdles you have surpassed in your journey, as well as your goals, your fears, and even your own strength. Harpe, it is time you start pulling yourself together, my girl. No more hesitating. No more doubts. Does she want us to pull the- You must carry out your duty, regardless of the means. Regardless of the consequences. Herpe? Enough running away. It's easy to lose yourself in your path. Even I... <laughs> even I am nothing more than a cruel misunderstanding. Herpe? But you're different. You're more than your mistakes. You're more than your fears. <laughs> you're more than your duties. It's time to let go, my girl. You must give in. You must lose control and never mind your fears. I will be with you, and I will protect you. Harpe, what's going on? <laughs> you are safe with me. <laughs> Her name isn't Elise, it's...